97.1, The Fan. I'm just ready to go hit somebody else other than my teammates. Hey, the guys were uh, joined you guys as, as captains uh, here this past week. Were there any surprises in there? Was that pretty much what you thought would, would get those votes? Yeah, I mean, that was who I, that's who I thought it was going to be because they showed it throughout the whole year and they exemplified leadership every day. Uh, coming in, going to work, Taquan, Gary Young, Billy, and uh, Joe Berger, man. I, I've learned a lot from Joe Berger myself as a linebacker. Uh, just some leadership traits that he has on and off the field. I just learned a lot. Rick, what, what is expected from a captain? I would think you were captain in high school, correct? Yeah. Yeah. What did, in your mind, when you were coming up, what did you expect from your captains and what did you employ when you were a captain <coughs> earlier in your career? You know, the captains, man, they set the standard and uh, give everybody else around them the tools to become to become a leader one day yeah. and also uh, to follow in their footsteps because you have to learn how to follow before you can lead somebody. So, I mean, every year it's a, just a recurring thing. The leaders lead and the followers follow. Yeah. And when it's the followers turn to step into a leadership role, they know how, they know how it's done. When did you notice that guys would follow you, were listening to you, like in high school and stuff? When did you notice that you had people's attention, and and did that bring some responsibility with it? Did you think think about that? You know that you were uh, the just, guys were hanging on what you were saying, not just what you were doing. You know. Yeah, in tough times, man, the guys always look to the guy who's exemplifying leadership through the whole like the whole tough time. You feel yeah. me? So when we were losing, when we lost games in high school. Uh, they always turned to the person who always kept them up and who always gave them hope and who gained their trust throughout the whole throughout the whole process. Rayvon, can you kind of elaborate on Joe there and what you've learned from him? He's not a guy who sees the playing time. Yeah. Obviously, he's a little more Yeah, uh, Joe Berger, man, he comes in day in and day out and does what he's supposed to do. Uh, always a leader in every drill that we do. Uh, leader in the classroom. Uh, one of the highest GPAs on the team. Uh, any workout that we do, he comes in, he kills it. Uh, some guys are physically better, physically have, are physically more gifted than him, but he always finds a way to win. And that's what you're looking for in a leader, somebody who will always find a way to win. You were talking about this in Chicago. You know, you're all about guys showing it, not talking about it and stuff at preseason camp. What, what, what are you interested in your, your fellows on defense showing on Saturday? What, what, what do you want to see out of them? Uh, I, I want to see 11 players playing together as one. I mean, we've practice we have individ individual periods throughout the day but we all come together as one during a few periods during practice yeah. and that's when we show you that's when you play your best ball when we're all playing together as one it doesn't matter about the individual accolades or anything like that it matters about how do we play as a defense and uh what's the outcome of the game have you seen that in those periods have you seen that play as one what have you seen in the periods when y'all have played as one so to speak yeah most definitely man we have a a leader in every position and the guys in those positions who follow the leaders also uh, follow well. I mean, you got every every at every point in time you got 11 guys on the field who could start at any other school in the nation. So yeah. when you're out there playing with the best, it uh, brings the best out of you. I know he's not your position coach, but he does have a hand in the entire defense. Are you eager to see how intense someone as already intense as Greg Shiano can get on a game day? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we really really don't get to see how he, his emotions during the game because he'll be up in the box. But I already know how Coach Shiano is going to be, man. He's passionate about the game and passionate about winning, so it'll be uh, fun to see. I imagine he can deliver a pretty good pass Yeah, he, he's pretty good at everything. <laughs> is there a breakout guy that we haven't seen or breakthrough guy on D that you say, hey, yeah, check him out? Yeah, I mean, my uh, three technique, Tracy Sprinkle, man, he, he, wasn't, voting the, he wasn't voted a captain. But I think by the end of the year, guys look at him as to one of the guys who really led this uh, 2016 going into the season. 2016 team going into the season. So, uh, yeah, Tracy Sprigle. And why, why is that? What, what's just, what, what, what has he brought to the table? I mean, just like I talked about Joe Berger earlier, man, he comes in day in and day out and goes to work, uh, never complains about anything. And then when he finds a young guy complaining about something or not doing what they're supposed to do or not or feeling down or something like that, he always a pick up, build up, and lift up the guy. So, uh, you can expect the same thing during the season. Rick, when you were this five-star best middle line, best inside linebacker in the country kind of dude coming in here early uh, a couple, three years ago, and you immediately immersed yourself into Ohio State instead of, like, expecting things. At least I remember when we talked to you about that and stuff. Yeah. What? Why is it that you approach things like that? What? Where did that come from? I mean, yeah, it can always be taken from you 
uh, quickly, you know, at, yes. the, at the blink of eye. You know, I was this, that, and the third coming out of high school. Uh, I'm a captain now. I mean, at any moment, I can do something crazy and it'd be all taken away from me. So you just got to think about your blessings and uh, take it one day at a time, man, because as quick as you got it, it can be uh, quickly taken away from you as well. Rayquan, we've talked to you a lot about how this is a young team, but all, all the guys that are the young guys are guys that have been around the program that, you know, it seems like they, they know what to expect on some level. How big of an impact could that be come Saturday when you're not going out with a bunch of young guys in terms of they've never been in the stadium or they've never, you know, done that stuff. These guys have all lived it before, just maybe not the game yeah. reps. Yeah, I mean, everybody's been through it, uh, going in for the first time starting or something like that. So if you know the guys who have been through it before them and have eventually became great players, it can the same thing is going to happen with these players coming to the stadium on Saturday. So, uh it's a great way to come out on the season. You know, our fans are going to be riled up. The uh, whole Buckeye Nation is going to be riled up. and It's going to be a lot of nervous guys out there on the field. But uh, eventually, you gotta, when it comes down to it, after your first couple of plays, you're playing, you're playing the game that you love. Who, who on, their, on their offense has caught your attention? I know it's kind of – you guys are probably looking at a lot of different kind of tape. I mean, uh, but who is – besides your quarterback who played two years ago and really didn't play last year, yeah. who, who's catching your attention on, on Bowling Green's offense, Raekwon? I can't really say anybody's catching my attention. Not not saying it like yeah. they're not good or anything. They but spread it out, right? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm actually trying to get to a meeting right after this so I can go yeah, see this. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> Last question. Hey, is it? Is it? Oh, go ahead. With so many young guys on the team, are you curious to kind of see how they mature and how this all meshes? I mean, it worked out great in 2014 like that. Are you kind of curious to see? What yeah. Happens? Yeah. It's it's going to be fun to see guys like me come up, uh, heavily recruited or whatever and uh, live up to their expectations. There'll be some guys who don't play as much as they think they should, but it'll work out for the best of them in the end. Your number one source for sports, 97.1, The Fan.
your number one source for sports. 97.1, The Fan.